Welcome back. Um, now we're going to, uh, you, we covered again how to set up our template here so we can start our model. And now we are ready to uh, actually do the modeling of this character. If you have uh, followed any of my other tutorials up to this point, you will uh, remember what we're going to do here is just a basic box model. Um, the box modeling technique for this character and uh, if we go to our front view and you'll remember that we start by creating our box here in the center of his chest and and we come out from there I'm gonna mix this one up a little bit just to show you that you don't have to uh, always do something the same way um, so at this time I'm gonna make my box and I'm gonna kinda look here I can see that right about here we follow this grid point up and this one out I'm gonna make me a box right here okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna model from the feet to the up to the legs and then over excuse me so we're gonna model ground up so I'm gonna hold down my V key and go to my right view and we're gonna go ahead and make some adjustments here so we're going to go to our modify panel. Uh, we don't want any segments, which we have. So we'll go ahead and right click, convert to edible poly. I'm going to go into our uh, vertex of object mode. And I'm going to move this back to about where the ankle would start. And I'm going to move this one out to where the front of the toe would start we go into polygon mode and then rotate our view by holding down alt and using the middle mouse I'm going to select on this face and then I'm going to hit shift Z twice to get back to our original right viewpoint view, viewport At this stage we're going to extrude and we'll just leave it at 10 uh, that's actually came out pretty good right there so now we've got our uh, the front of our foot and the heel or the ankle ready to come up for the leg so again I'll rotate my view and select on this polygon this time we're gonna go to the front view so hit F and I can see that things are a little off right now so I'm going before I even worry with it, I'm going to go ahead and extrude again. So just by hitting the settings key and then hitting OK, I'm um, going to now hit F4 so we can see what we've got going on. And I can see that we didn't have this lined up very well. So I'm just going to go into vertex mode and select everything and move this over to where the center is. And now I'm going to hit Alt. X to make our mesh transparent. Now the reason why I did this in vertex mode is because I can go back to polygon mode and I'm still selected on that top face. If I selected all my polygons then I would have to have rotated my view and picked on that top face, made my adjustment um, and then come back. Well, By going into vertex mode and selecting everything each one of these sub object modes can hold a selection. So I was able to maintain my selection on that polygon which is where I'm going to extrude from and I can still make a lot of adjustments like right now I go to vertex select on these edges move these over select on these vertices sorry move these over go back to polygon and I'm still selected on that guy right there so I'll go ahead and move him up and I'm going to move him over just a little bit and I'm going to hit E for the rotate tool and I'm going to rotate it just a little bit as well you can see you just kind of follow that direction so we hit our extrude again and just hit OK W for the move tool and I'll pull this right up to here E for rotate rotate this and then W again line this up okay so I can see that we've got our leg now some things we could do would be to make uh, 
some size adjustments so I'm going to go into vertex mode I'm going to select on use my marquee just drag and select on this vertice and I'm going to position that one up here select on this one position this one down here and we'll do the same thing okay so that's looking pretty good okay a uh, quick note about our character here um, as you see we've got some very faint sketches of uh, some pads if we go back to our uh, concept art so I'm going to give him some kind of gear some, like a shoulder pad and I was playing around with the idea of maybe something like a belt or something around his waist but what we're actually going to do is end up giving him pants um, so he's not naked but the reason why I went with my layout um, this way was one just so we can kind of quickly do this and as you can see here we've got I've got kind of the outline for the pants because I want to model um, the actual anatomy first and then we can bring out the pants uh, from that uh, as we go alright so anyway let's take a look at what our I'm gonna hit P for perspective and we can see we've got some problems here with the right view so we'll go <clears throat> and hit V and go to our right view and let's go back into sub object mode select on the kneecap and pull that up and select on the top of our leg and pull that about to where about where it looks like it should be which would be centered uh, the leg like that okay I can see it's probably a little adjustment I can make here and another little one right here get that lined up because we can come back later to create that I will pull this up a little bit and we'll leave this toe comes down okay so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna fix this foot before we move up so we're going to edge mode and I just select right across these edges which will select all of them and we're going to hit our connect tool to connect settings and let's see let's go ahead and just do one for right now go into vertex select this top one pull that one up select on this one pull that one down and well, maybe move that one up like there and let's, we'll leave that one alone for now let's take these and I'll hit the semicolon key to repeat last command which was the connect so you can either hit your connect settings again or hit semicolon and then I move to vertex mode and move these two vertices about where they should go notice we've we're not trying to worry about getting this entire curve or where it dips underneath here we're not worried about that we're just moving the major points to fill in the uh, fill in what we can so again I'll select across these edges and I'll hit my semicolon key again and I'll take and move these vertices out and these back and I'll hit P let's go into perspective and take a look at what our legs looking like here Alt X to get it back out. Okay, so we've got a mesh uh, kind of started. Uh, we're, we're at the point now where we could uh, throw the symmetry on and uh, do the turbo smooth. So let's before we go any further, let's go ahead and rename this from box one to uh, mesh or body or whatever you want to call it and let's get our layers uh, squared away so we'll go to our layer manager and we now need a layer create a new layer containing selected objects um, you see it immediately turns blue because it was a part of our refs layer which was frozen so now it's a part of layer one and we will call this body uh, I haven't really thought of a character name at this point uh, maybe in the future 
uh, as this goes along, I'll think of something cool. I don't know. Uh, so the check mark is set to body, which means anything that we create from this point on is going to automatically get dumped inside of our body layer, which is fine for now. So we'll close that. So let's take a look and see what this guy looks like uh, with the symmetry on. So we'll add our symmetry modifier. It disappears. Go into our symmetry. I can clearly see that it's uh, facing the right direction. So the only thing we've got to do is move our mirror over. And we want to move it over to the middle. So lined up right down center or we can right click down here on the X or just enter zero. Go back to perspective. And now let's just throw our turbo smooth on. See what he's looking like. Okay. I also like to turn on the ISO line display. So we are only seeing the uh, the lines, the edges, the segments on our mesh that are actually there. Uh, the isoline display, because of the turbo smooth, if we turn it off, we can see that it adds. We're actually seeing all the segments that the turbo smooth is adding by turning the isoline off. What we are seeing is just the segments that are actually there. So if we turn off Turbo Smooth, we can see just just this segment here, the segment the kneecap, and the segment up here. That's the only thing that's actually there. If we turn it back on, we can see that it's smoothing it, but with the isoline display off, we can see that's what Turbo Smooth is actually doing. It's actually adding new segments all along. It's adding twice as many segments. So I just like to have the isoline display turned on because I like to see what I have actually modeled. All right, I can tell that this guy's foot in my reference image is angled a little bit. So we'll go back down to Edible Poly. I'm gonna go back to Polygon and select on this front polygon. And now I'm gonna hit Control Page Up, which is gonna do the same thing as hitting Grow. So I'll hit Grow, Grow. We're selected on the foot. Use our rotate tool, and I'm going to rotate this foot about 30, 40 degrees, like so. Then use our move tool, W, and move this over. And now we want to just kind of look at the way the foot is positioned here. And I can see that uh, basically it looks like our heel is broken. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to rotate it and then use the move tool and straighten it up like so. Okay. Now one of the things that I do know about this foot is I want it to be a lot thicker than this. So what I'm going to do is go into edge mode. Actually, I want to go back to Polygon, and I want to select on the bottom. I'm going to turn off Turbo Smooth. I'm going to select on the bottom of this polygon and this one, the bottom of his feet, and I'm going to go to my Scale tool, and I'm going to set the reference coordinate system from View to Local, and didn't like it updated or did anything so let's try just doing one yeah it's not changing at all <sighs> max 2008 is so incredibly buggy um, alright so we'll just do this I'll go into edge select on this outer edge the only thing we're gonna do is widen the foot I'm just gonna take pull this out Select on this edge and pull this one out. So, so we, as we can see, we've made the foot a little wider. Uh, turn my turbo smooth back on for that, and I'm going to pull it out a little bit more. 
and a little bit more. Alright, that's good enough for me. Alright, okay, so we got our legs. Uh, before we move on, um, I'm going to change the color of my mesh. Uh, that blue, I don't think, was uh, too easy for you to see. But you might notice that when I select on my mesh, uh, that my edges are black, not white, uh, like they are probably on your screen. Um, it's just something that I prefer. Uh, I think the black looks better. Um, but to make that change, all you got to do is go to customize, and this is something that, um, so it, you know, I'll just let you see. Customize, and then we go to colors. We change the elements to scroll this up to geometry and then scroll this down to selection and you see mine is set to black yours is set to white if you set this to whatever color that you want and hit apply colors now odds are it's not going to apply the colors and then once you hit save you're gonna have to restart max uh, completely to uh, see the color update so if you want yours black go ahead and uh, set the geometry selection color to black hit apply colors now then hit save and then close and then close save your file and we'll go ahead and do that now anyway file save as and then once you close max and restart it it will be updated now I'm gonna take this time to talk about uh, important part of uh, how you save your files uh, so for right now I've got this folder called character modeling which is going to hold um, everything concerning uh, this entire series okay but this could very easily be called the name of the character that you are modeling at any particular time okay and one of the things that I like to do is I like to name my files like like this one call it build one and hit save so this is basically this is a build version of my character and then I'll once I finish the building I'll then save a texture version of the character and then a rigged version of the character and an animating version of the character so that I always have these backups of my work so I can go back to any stage and make adjustments it's just something that I like to do um, it makes it makes backing up your work a lot easier. Makes it the chance of losing work a lot less. Um, so anyway, go ahead and move on um, with this. Do just a little bit more. I'm gonna just throw out the body real quick, and then the next segment we'll start getting into some detailing. So I'm gonna come down and turn on, turn off our turbo smooth. Go into polygon mode and select on this polygon here go to our front view now what I'm going to do when we do our extrusion okay just hit OK and instead of this coming this direction I want this to come straight up so I'm going to move it up and then hit E for rotate rotate this okay and pull it up uh, right about here and then now what I'm looking to do here is I'm looking to straighten out this line. So I'm just going to pull this over like so until I see this line coming down for his crotch straighten out. About like that. Okay. Now if I rotate my view and I select on this middle piece and extrude again, you'll see we've now created his pelvis. Okay, one of the things that I do want to make sure that we talk about is see how far over this this went. Okay, when you're modeling, and I'm not sure if I talked about this in previous videos or not, but when we, even though we're using our symmetry and we can extrude past our symmetry line and it not show up on our model, it's you want to try to keep. Um, your geometry as close to the center line as possible so like right here I will let it touch and then I'll pass over just a little bit 
Not a lot, but just a little bit. That's to compensate for the turbo smooth. Because if it's right on the money, then it'll split. So I just push it a little bit past so that it stays uh, solid. Okay, let's take a look at it here. Let's go, let's go to our right view, hold V, and go to right. And I can see we got to bring his butt out a little bit. So hold down Alt and middle mouse. And I'm going to select on, let's turn off Turbo Smooth. And I'm going to select on this one right here because this would be his butt cheek. Okay, so I'm going to select on this face, not on both of them, just on this one. Shift Z to undo the viewport change. And pull that back like so for the butt. Okay. Now we've got uh, some things we have to focus on. I'm just shift Z until I get my viewport back. We definitely have some things going on here with this belly uh, that we need to address. And the main thing that I'm going to do is just take my vertices and select all of them like that. So we get all three of those vertices along that edge. Shift Z again. And what I want to do is I I just want to pull this straight forward like that because remember we already had this set up here in our front view. So that right there it's just going to come straight forward. So we go back to our right view. Okay. And now I'm going to take this back edge, all these vertices back here and move them forward like so okay so now we, they've, we've moved them forward but the one thing that we didn't do is we didn't compensate for the direction the mesh is flowing so what I'm going to do to compensate for this is I'm going to imagine a line that runs straight across the, the body like so if we are almost imagine the pants line so I'll just pick this up Probably like about there. So we can see that it's actually kind of wrapping around his body. Turn our turbos move on. And I will come into this guy right here and pull him back in line with this other edge like that. So we've got one down here that can be like his little butt crack or whatever. And then this one gets back in line so that we can come up his back. So go into polygon. I'm going to turn my turbo smooth off. And we're going to select on these edges. We're going to go to our uh, right view. So again, hold V. Go to right. And do our extrude. Okay, and this time we'll move and then rotate. And now this time I'm going to hit R for the scale, and I'm going to scale this down a little bit. And what I'm doing is just trying to get this lined up with the neck, like so. We're just trying to get the major pieces of the body. We come back and we can add things, other things later. We're just trying to throw out the basic frame of the body first. Okay, so we did it there. We'll take a look at it in the front view. You can see we've got some changes. So I'm going to move these vertices over like so. That one's actually pretty good. Straighten up a little bit. Okay, Alt X, and I can see how my mesh is actually looking uh, can, as it is related to our uh, our reference material. So I'm just gonna make some quick changes that I see already. And this was heading towards his neck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine that this segment 
this polygon, if you will, Shift Z, is going to be the neck. So we'll hit extrude about up to there. So that's the neck. So this is going to be the shoulder heading towards the arm. So I'll move this down and I'm going to move it back a little bit like so because the arm is going to come out of here. Okay. So I'm going to go back to polygon and just quickly throw this head up before we do the arm. So I'm still selected on that one, that face. Do our extrude and just hit OK. And I'm pull this all the way to the top. I'm not going to mess with the hair right now. I'm just doing this to imagine where the top of the head would be. Okay. Go to edge mode and select right across these edges and connect. This time I'm going to connect excuse me with three segments. So hit OK then go into vertices. Now I'm going to pull these guys out and let's say something like that. Just trying to imagine a curved line like that and then I'll straighten this one out and I'll even this one out. So I'm trying to keep the segments even but I'm also trying to get the overall shape of the head there and it's just pretty happy with that. So now we go to our right view and take a look at what we did here. Okay so I can see we've got some issues with our neck so we'll fix that. I will fix I'm going to select on these pull that in Okay, and just pull it straight forward. Pull it straight forward. Pull them straight back. Okay. Let's go into perspective. Turn our turbo smooth on and take a look at the character we've got so far okay so that alone we can <laughs> we can kinda call him done call one version uh, of this guy done if we wanted to um, he's actually got a lot of potential um, just looking at that so I'll go ahead and save and uh, I like that so much that I'm gonna go file save as and I'm going to hit the little plus sign right here, which is the increment save. So we'll hit that. And we notice, file, save as, that now we've got build 1 and build 02. Uh, so build 1 is always going to be this one without the arms, because uh, I like that. I might use that in some other, uh, some other way down the road. Okay, so now we've got uh, build 02 that we can actually create the arms with. And we'll go into our front view. We're going to turn off Turbo Smooth, and we're going to go ahead and extrude the arm out and get that started before we wrap this segment up. So, go into Edge Mode. Select across all of these edges. So everything here for the upper chest. And I'm going to right click and go Connect. And we have three and that's actually going to work out pretty good for us because this one right here this is the one that we're going to extrude out with for the arm so I'll just right click do our extrusion like so and remember the first part of uh, of everything is we're just trying to get the main uh, parts down. So the next part to come out of here is going to be the elbow. So use the rotate tool and rotate that in line with the elbow. Then I'll go in to my vertices and we'll make 
changes there. Back to polygon. And we will extrude again. I'll hit the semicolon key. And I'll pull this down to the wrist because we're going to model the hand separately. And then I will move these vertices into place. I'll go ahead and do the fatness of the forearm by selecting across these edges and connecting. And this time I don't want, so I'll do connect settings and we just want one. And I'll hit R for the scale key and we'll just scale it up like so. Okay. The last thing we're going to do before we end this section is uh, get the arm a little bit more prepared for uh, what we're going to be doing. So when I go into edge mode and hit loop, I can see that the loop selected the top three, but it didn't get the bottom edge. So I will hold control and select that bottom edge. Cause the point of what we what we want to select here is all these um, edges that uh, represent where the arm came from and then what we will do is chamfer them and just a little bit like so we just want to get a good amount of space in between okay what this does for us not only does it gives us some more information, so I can go into vertice and say pull this up for the shoulder like that. But it's actually giving us more information and more ability to adjust. The underarms, which might get because uh, this is actually a very uh tricky area uh to to rig correctly. So we're just giving ourselves a little bit of space uh, underneath there for it to work on. Now what we have to do is we've got to fix what the chamfer did along th this area right here. And it's an easy fix. So I go into vertice because we want to try to keep our character in quads, which is everything we had so far. Every polygon has four vertices that it shares. This one's a three, so it's a try, and we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'll right-click and go to Target Weld. And I'm going to Target Weld this vertice to this one. So I'll just left-click this one, and we see there, dashed line. And then I'll pick this one. Target welded there. Come around the back. Target weld this one to that one. As we see, we now have a nice clean uh, space in between our arm. Go back to our front view and we go back to our move tool. Hit Alt X and if we look at it we can see if we want to make some adjustments uh, to the way this guy is uh, set up. And let's say the underarm is probably right about in there. There's a shoulder. Could move this down. This one could be like this. So I'm just kind of looking at this, trying to figure out what would make the most sense as far as the uh, flow of the topology. Now if I move this one down, this guy coming way up here isn't really good. I want to I want this one to come down like that. Let's take a look at this in the right view. Okay, I pulled him way down. I can tell in the right view though, he needs to come out. So, we'll pull him up there. And you'll see in the right view that I've got a hole for the arm. I didn't draw out the uh, where the arm actually comes down. Uh, really don't need it. Side view was uh, really kind of meant to see the overall profile of the body. Um, plus, I can guess uh, how I want his arm to look. The one thing that I do notice that needs to be fixed 
is how he it's so skewed at the moment. I can really see that these triangles are skewed. Um, so I'm going to fix that right now by going into the edges and just pulling those back until they straighten up uh, with the rest of the edges. So like that. And then I can go into vertices and look at it like so. And I'm just going to eyeball them into place to where they look like they are lined up pretty well. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And take a look and see what he's looking like. All right, so we have the uh, the base mesh really kind of started on this guy now. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the only thing we could do would be to deboxify uh, his body a little bit, and that's a very easy thing to do at this point. I'm just going to move these edges back and then in like so. So move it back and then in. I'll leave this one alone. Since that's the chest, I'll leave that one alone. Come around the back side. And I'll just move these in. Move that in. And let me take a look hide my refs yeah pretty happy with that alright pull those back out alright so we'll go ahead and save this character and uh, in the next part we will look at uh, modeling the hands and getting uh, excuse me the hands attached onto the character and then we will uh, continue on from there. So I'll see you in the next video.